So let's look at a problem uh, solved in the normal and tangential coordinate system. So in this problem, we have the speed of the crate at A is 15 feet per second, and that's increasing at a rate of V dot equals 3 feet per second. Determine the magnitude of the acceleration of the crate at this instant. So I'm going to start by writing what we know. So we have A T is going to be equal to V dot by definition. So I'll link down below the last video we did where we go over all these equations. But we know that just by definition, the tangential acceleration equals V dot. And we just know from the problem, that's three feet per second squared. So A N, so our normal acceleration, that's gonna be equal to the magnitude of the velocity squared over rho. And we know at this point A, the speed, which is the magnitude of the velocity, is 15. So we're gonna put in 15 squared over rho. So we're gonna to have to solve for rho, which we can do because we know the equation of y equals 16, one over 16, x squared. So when we know the equation for y equals f of x, we can use this equation for rho. dx squared over the absolute value of d2y over dx squared. So we can start now by plugging in for rho. So we know that y equals 1 over 16x squared. So dy dx is going to equal 1 over 8x. And d2y second derivative is going to be equal to 1 over 8. So with those values, we can start plugging in. So we'll have 1 plus 1 over 8x squared divided by the absolute value of 1 over 8 at x equals 10 feet, which we see right here is our x. And that will work out to give us a row value of 32.8 feet equals row. So now that we know that, we can plug that in for our an. So we're going to see here that an equals 15 squared over 32.8. And that will work out to give us a value of about 6.9 feet per second squared equals an. And we already know from up here that at equals 3 feet per second squared, just given to us in the problem. And they want to know the magnitude of the acceleration. So now that we have both components of A, we can solve for the magnitude using this equation. So that's going to equal the square root of the sum of the squares of the components, which is at and am. And plugging in for that will give us 3 squared plus 6.9 squared. And that'll give us an acceleration of 7.5 feet per second squared. And there we go. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps support my channel and helps me continue making videos for you guys. I'll see you next time.